Hey, hey, hey! What's up, motherfuckers? How's it going? This is Jay Casey, uh, back after some bullshit again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like last week, we're late. Oh, yeah, we're just like your period. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking bullshit. But here we are again. Uh, I hooked my $2,000 computer up again to get the show going, so yeah. All yeah, right. we tried to use uh, some piece of junk I had laying around the house. Didn't work out so well. But anyway, this week's band, that was uh, Young Lungs, they're a power pop band out of uh, Pittsburgh, PA. Go check them out. Uh, all their contact information was scrolling across the bottom of the screen when we got started. So uh, if you didn't catch them then, catch them during the replay. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, just a quick, quick couple things, actually. Do you want to talk about the Patreon thing? Yeah, definitely. Um, for those of you guys who are in here, all three, yeah. <laughs> uh, today, tonight we are doing our very first uh, hangouts after party. Uh, hangout after party. We're gonna do uh, do on uh, for our patrons only. Uh, once a month, the first uh, Tuesday of the month, we're gonna have an after party show where we do all sorts of fun shit. And we have something really cool planned for tonight. We're playing a game. Uh, it's your last chance to join and become a patron. Uh, we will be posting that, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes or so after the show ends, gives us a little time to compose, get things set up, take a leak, smoke a cigarette, masturbate, whatever we got to do. Yep. Blow it all over these walls, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and another thing, uh, me and Jay cannot, cannot for the fucking life of us figure out this goddamn phone call bullshit. So we just agreed that we're not going to do phone calls until we can figure out how to get the fucking thing to work. Right. If we can't do it right, we don't want to do it at all. Yes. We can't get Skype to work for some reason. Um, Google Hangouts is very laggy. It, it fucking, like, it just, it's horrible. It doesn't work that well. So we're going to try to figure something out. So for a while, we're not going to have any phone calls. Because we also do this as a podcast, and people that listen to the podcast saying, you know, you can barely hear the callers. So It's, like, just, it's just not good. Yeah, I mean, we started out as a podcast. We have way more podcast listeners than we do viewers on Periscope, and it's just it's just not fair to them. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying not to abuse the podcast listeners by, you know, leaving like, you know, my father did when he went to get a pack of cigarettes. So we don't want to do that. And, you know, uh, just, I don't know. It's just a mess. We can't get the phone line thing figured out. So we're going to work on it, and then we'll, you know, get that going again. But on to the best part. Beer. <laughs> Beer! We have... Uh, I don't know how to say this. It's, it's some like foreign bullshit. I don't. It, it's very German. You could tell that because you look at this fucking label. Because <laughs> it, it, it has the word Oktoberfest in it. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like dead burnt Jews. Um, Brewed in Munich, Germany. Ooh. Munich. Was there? Was there any fucking? Um, what's it called? Why can't I think of the word? Con- right concentration. Now? Concentration camps. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I, I have no idea. I have no concentration right now. I can't think straight. <laughs> but I think it's pronounced spatten. Spatten. Like before you eat pussy, you want to spatten on it. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. But uh, yeah, there's the beer label if you can see it. I thought it looked interesting. It looks very uh, like pinky extended beer. Like mm, yes, it's, it says malt liquor, but it's five point nine. <laughs> it's a malt liquor. That's what it says, but it's only five nine. Ah, oh, Jesus. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers, mate. Cheers. That's boring as hell. Ah, yeah, it is very boring. There's not much going. I mean, it's a little bit more exciting than like Budweiser, but not by a lot. Yeah, not by a lot at all. Actually, you know this what? is not a good Oktoberfest. I've had a lot of good Oktoberfest. Yeah, this this actually just tastes like a lager. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it does. just tastes like a boring old ass lager. Yeah, she was. <coughs> sounds like I should be drinking uh, drinking Yingling or something. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Yingling. There's a, there's the label again. If you can't see it. It's Spot in October. It's it's not interesting at all. It's not interesting at all. I'm going to. Yeah. I, if if I would rate this, I would I would give it um two out of five catching your mom and dad have sex. It's not a special at all, <laughs> which is a horrible thing. When I was younger, I caught my stepdad's sweaty ass pounding my mom in the middle of the night. It was fucking horrible. I almost had a heart attack. I remember seeing it, and I looked, and there's just this – moonlight glistening off my stepdad's ass cheeks and i just went against the wall when i saw it i was like <gasps> and i couldn't breathe like i was dying how I old think. were you i don't remember i think it was like 10 years old or something oh it's fucking horrible it was such a fucking nightmare oh did you ever catch your parents have sex uh no thank god yeah i, I did get walked in on while uh well well, well if 
engaging in the art of self-love once. <laughs> By who? My dad. Oh, jeez. I bet you that was so embarrassing. Oh, so, so awful. What did he, he say? Nothing. Oh, really? And then later on, he took me fishing. <laughs> okay. He tried to have the talk with me. Oh, God. If I would have saw, I would have just, like, patty on the shore. and like, good job, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it was, it was awful. It really was. It, ugh. Oh, jeez. Did, did uh, your kids ever catch you and Amanda, you know, bumping uglies? Nah, but I'm just... <laughs> Mom and Dad are wrestling. It looks like Dad's winning. <laughs> Dad always wins. <laughs> <laughs> that was sort of a rape joke in there somewhere, but I can't uh, can't really explain it. <laughs> yeah, not that kind of rape. Not that kind of rape. Pedophile jokes are the best, though. Well, yeah, I mean, now that, now that the pedophile has gone up the street... Yeah, uh, for people that have been listening to us for a while, we always talk about this pedophile that lives a couple streets, uh, a couple streets, a couple houses up from me. He's finally in jail. Uh, no word yet. Uh, if he's, I think his uh, court hearing is in a couple days here, actually. I think it's like a week from now or something like that. He's actually going to finally see, you know, if he goes to jail or not because he touched his eight year old daughter that he uh, adopted from Africa. And his excuse was, What's, what's up, up, Jimmy? Jimmy? Uh, his excuse was she was sitting on my lap. I dropped my cell phone and my fingers fell in her. So he's going to jail probably. <laughs> for a long time. I just, you know, and I'm trying to think, you know, hearing that story, do you think that was him or do you think that was his lawyers? I don't know. He's just, he's a weird dude anyway. I know he is weird. I always got a, a weird vibe from him. <laughs> I really did. Like, like what? Just like you looked in his eyes and you saw the extra chromosome? Or? No, it was just like, you know when you're walking into somebody's house and there's something strange with him? Oh, you've been inside his house? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I've done some computer repair shit for him, freelancing, and, uh, you know, I, I had to go into his office and there was like a, a dirty mattress in his <laughs> office. A dirty mattress. I like oh, it how you. I like it so how you dirty. just. You don't say mattress. You're just like it was dirty. Oh my god, it was <laughs> filthy. I mean, he was a mechanic, and his office was in like the back of the building. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I had to go in there to work on his computer, payroll computer, and things when he stuff like, you know, like the dirty mattress is there. And it's, <laughs> like, what the hell would a mattress be in there for except for dirty things? Yeah, I actually, I was there when he sold the place. Um, did he pay you with a reach around? <laughs> no, he did not. He, he was, paid money. He was fixing Jay's car. We'll, we'll put car in quotation mark. <laughs> Dick. But, yeah, I went, I went in there. Um, I don't know what else he used that computer for, but I never looked. <laughs> I have a strict no looking at anybody's files. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> no, I I'm don't. Like, I mean, where's that midget porn? <laughs> no, because I don't want to lose respect for the people I know. Anyway, continue <laughs> onwards. Uh, I went there when. Because after he got uh, a cop molesting his daughter, he uh, had to sell the place. Him and his wife broke up, and my friend bought the place. He is a um, plumber, and he bought the place, and I, we were walking through it. He, he did have these weird little things, like you said about the dirty mattress. He had these little showers everywhere. What? Yeah. And they were like they were like these doors, and you'd walk in, and there'd be like just this little Ethiopian room. Except there wasn't food in it. Um, <laughs> and it, it just – he had showers in his shop, and it was so fucking weird. And oh, I thought that was, like, weird. strange. No, I never heard, heard that part. Yeah, and we found dirty magazines, and we found penis enlargement pills. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> a clean pervert. <laughs> yeah, he, he was a clean pervert. Or, you know, just to wash the blood off his dick from after raping three-year-olds. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's not it's not my fault. I'm just here to make the jokes, man. <laughs> I just I don't I don't understand the mentality of a pedophile. Like to them it's normal to like rape little girls and shit like that. I don't understand <laughs> what makes you think, you know what? That looks good. <laughs> I don't know, man. People are, there are some sick fucks in this world today. Yeah, I know. Like when I go like when, like when I go to a restaurant, I'm looking at the menu. I'm like, hmm, "Prime rib, that looks good." Is that what pedophiles do when they look at little girls? Like I just I think it's more along the lines of what you do when you see a hot chick or man. Yeah, when I see a hot chick though, I just run the other way so I don't caveman them in public. <laughs> it sucks being a dude. 
like you get these like caveman like sex urges yeah we do <laughs> and it sucks what's yeah. up bc drums says what up homies what's up man how you doing um welcome to the show yeah and if anyone in chat you know any guys in chat that, that can you know validate that sometimes i don't know if every man's like this but we get like fucking like like you know those caveman spongebob memes <laughs> where he's just standing there like this like that's how we get sometimes but it's like i would never ever ever do something i just don't get it man i just it's like eating a fucking apple before it turns ripe or bananas like i hate eating ripe or bananas that aren't ripe yet because they do that like really weird aftertaste you know what i'm talking about oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking god awful oh uh, toughy is sharing some shit for us thanks buddy Thanks, appreciate man. I appreciate it. it. You know, it's uh, – I don't know. I just don't understand the mind of somebody like that. You know, and, and I, I swear to God the world is going to hell in a handbasket. I've been saying that a lot lately. Oh, it's Trevor. Oh, what's up, Trevor? Quit changing your goddamn name. <laughs> You've had it changed like five times in the last fucking t- – <laughs> Yeah, can't keep up with it. Yeah, Trevor, uh, we actually had a lot of comp- uh, compliments about you last week. People said you were very, very interesting. Yeah, they they seem to enjoy it. Uh, at just blame Matty R. You. <laughs> um, okay then. Yeah, they like I have my uh, neighbor Ashley. Like I went over to her house afterwards, and she was saying about how interesting you were. And uh, yeah, your your demon possessions. Yeah, we we want to know though when you get that portal closed. Let us know, <laughs> so you can stop getting six 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 carved on you. Hey, bud, driving. Oh, don't, he's driving. Yeah, don't don't don't. Don't watch this show and drive, drive at the same time. You're going to crash. Sorry, Trevor. You missed it. We just got done explaining. We uh, we took the phone line down for a while. Uh, it's We're tired of fighting with electronics, man. We we had we tried again to have another computer. We had to go to a backup plan again. Uh, we hate computers anymore. You know, and the sad part is I do this freelance. You know, I, could, I fix computers freelance. I've been doing it for years, you know, and, and now I'm starting to get to the point where I'm old enough now that things confuse me. I know. <laughs> and like we were talking, like we also have podcast listeners and they've been complaining a lot that they can't hear people on the phone calls. Um, it's just something we can't do it, right. We, so yeah, we're not we can't do, do it right, all right because now. we can't get Skype to work for some reason. And Skype works pretty well. Uh, so we use Google Hangouts and Google Hangouts is very, very laggy. Uh, everything's delayed and shit. And we just, if we want to do it, we want to do it right. So we're going to, you guys need help. It, it's really at this point, what it is, is just a matter of uh, more than anything. We need money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick, but I mean, we just need money. Uh, you know, we, our computer that we had was a pretty good computer and it just, it took a power surge and it got shot. Yeah. Because destroyed. <laughs> if you see previous episodes, I always talk about how this house is trying to kill me. Well, you know, I've had uh, coal stove CO leaks. I've had, you know, floods. I've had everything in this fucking house. And now I'm having power surges. Um, For some reason, I can't run the air conditioner and do laundry at the same time. Or my fucking house, like, goes into, like, I don't know, the flash or something. And it just goes haywire. And one time I was doing laundry and I had my air conditioner on. And for some reason, it knocked out the power in my living room. And the living room is where my modem's at. So it sent a shock through the modem, through my Ethernet cord into this room and fried my motherboard. So, yeah, it's it's been slowly like the the problems with it have been creeping up slowly. First, it was the the Ethernet card and now it's the the sound. (laughs) Get college dropout hookers to fix my shit. Nice. (laughs) Uh, We should do that. Uh, Our our biggest thing is, you know, what? honestly, since there's more of you in here, I'll pitch it again. Uh patreon.com slash uh openly hostile opinions if you guys could you know maybe become a patron for a dollar a month that would help us big time because we got to get some new equipment plain and simple uh, yeah, we don't have the right stuff jimmy we'll we'll get in touch with you if you can if you can help us set up a better solution than what we have we'd be interested to hear it but yeah, um, definitely we have to get a better computer for for doing this podcast yeah because like i said i'm i'm using my gaming computer right now and you have no idea how much this is breaking my heart right now <laughs> <laughs> like I paid like two thousand dollars for it. 
without the graphics card. I paid an extra like but 300 for the graphics fair, card. To be fair, he saved for like two years to have that money. I did. I did. I saved for like two fucking years to buy this computer. And it just like it being hooked up right now, me not using it for gaming is like freaking me out. But I don't know what else to do. We can't use laptops. We use uh, – God, this beer tastes like shit. Uh, we went through three different fucking laptops. Nothing worked. Yeah. Uh, Jay brought a computer from home. Uh, it lagged the video out too much. Oh, my God. We were getting, like, two frames per minute. Yeah, it was, it was fucking god-awful, man. It was the worst I've ever seen with yeah, OBS. Yeah, like, it, uh, it looked like a strobe light going on someone with Parkinson's. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it was just god-awful. Like, Michael J. Fox was in here fucking, hey. We looked like T-Pain's voice sounds. It was, <laughs> oh, it was bad. It was very bad. That was good. Where'd you get that one at? I don't know. Out of my ass, like usual. <laughs> How do you know what shit tastes like? Uh, we drink this beer. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you never ate a girl's butthole before, man? That's how you get them to follow you around. <laughs> you ever want a girl to follow you around, bend her over and eat that ass. <laughs> Find out what she had for dinner. <laughs> my God. Start doing that shit like in Biodome where they fart. And yeah. they start sniffing. Everyone likes their own brand, man. Yeah, you bend that bitch over, you stick that tongue in her ass and said that she had a fucking chicken tender hungry man for dinner, she'll love you. <laughs> Be like, yes, and it was with a brownie. <laughs> Hell no, I'm kinky. Yeah, of course you are. You invite the ghost for a threesome. <laughs> fucking, fucking getting the demons up and shit. Yo, Beazelbub! <laughs> Be- get up in this shit! <laughs> Who the fuck is Beazelbub? <laughs> uh, according to Trevor, a, non, a non-real a non demon. Oh, really? Yeah, we did find out something, that demons can latch on to people. <clears throat> you sound like you're going to vomit uh, right now. This, this beer sucks, dude. It, it's not... <laughs> It's not. It's. It could be worse. Yeah, it could be worse. But it's just. I didn't. I thought America was the only ones to make malt liquor. <laughs> like, it's not a, it's I didn't not know the Germans liquor. made malt liquor. Like, I thought we did it just to you know get the the blacks addicted to drugs and alcohol. But I guess in Germany they do it to get Jews addicted. I don't know. <laughs> God, why are we getting so fucking racial all of a sudden? <laughs> I, I ain't racist. I have a color TV. But anyway, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Small disclaimer: We are not racist. We just uh, we just find humor in equally uh, all situations. No, I don't give a fuck. I think racism is just so funny. <laughs> I, you know what? It's the fact whatever. of the matter is, we, neither one of us are racist, but we both enjoy a good racial joke. Oh fuck yeah! It don't man. matter what race it is, including ourselves. Like when that we whole don't sh- take ourselves too seriously, yeah. and that's what the problem with the world is today. Yeah, everyone's Jay's on a rant. <laughs> everyone's too. Fucking that's the serious. fucking problem with the world today. Is everybody and their fucking brother is all so sensitive about everything. And you know what? And the biggest people that bitch about race aren't even aren't even minorities. There's not even black people that bitch about race nearly as much as guilty white people. I know, dude. It's like white people are so guilty. It's oh like, my dude, God. like chill. You didn't do anything. You own no cotton fields. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like <laughs> like you ain't living on no. 1863 plantation like we, what we the- didn't capture your ancestors and make them work the fields <laughs> I know, like what's I, the difference between a pizza and a jew, a jew the pizza doesn't scream when you put it in the oven <laughs> <laughs> hey Tre- hey trevor w- what do you call a double decker pizza oven jewish bunk beds <laughs> <laughs> oh god actually no my my favorite is trevor th- this is my favorite one and itunes is probably gonna ban us because they don't like this shit but how do you get a Jewish girl's number? Read you her look, arm. You look at her forearm. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. This one. is the shit we should be shaving. Saving. <laughs> be shaving. We should be saving for tonight during the after party. Uh, by the way, Trevor said he's gonna uh, gonna go ahead and become a Patreon pretty soon when he gets a new card, so he can be able to join into our after party. That's awesome, Trevor. Thank you. I appreciate. Yeah, that. you you want to get in on these after parties? This uh, we're gonna we're gonna post up archives, so if you miss any of them, you'll be able to go back and rewatch them again. But uh, you guys are gonna want to be patrons, man, because we are <laughs> gonna do some really cool shit. Yeah, James. Hey, the band came in. Hey, what's up, Young Lungs Band? Hey, guys. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, Jay, Jay came up with this fucking idea, and I'm just not looking forward to it. We're not we're not going to tell him. Don't tell him what it is. I, I'm not going to tell, tell him. Don't tell him what it is. But Jay's you like. You've got to become a patron if you want to find out this crazy shit we're going to do. It's going to be so much fun. Jay's like, hey, I have a great idea. Amanda's going to do this, this, this. I'm like, where the fuck did you come up with this it's idea? It's because my wife is awesome. I just, whatever, dude. I don't know where you got this idea. But it's actually going to be pretty fun. I'm just not looking forward to the cleanup <laughs> uh y- young lungs band says hey what's up hey how you doing guys uh we are getting into the 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 offensive portion of the show <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so 
Uh, we apologize if we offend any of your sensibilities. Uh, we were talking about some pretty nasty shit at the moment, but anyway. Uh, yeah, we uh, we played you guys this morning. We're sorry. I know we were supposed to do you two weeks ago, but unfortunately we had computer issues, and it was not fun at all. You know, I've said that to women before. Sorry, I was supposed to do you two weeks ago, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I know I gave them a date that we were going to play their stuff, and it passed because we didn't have we, – we missed our podcast, which I'll tell you, to be honest with you, we hated that more than you could ever know. We have never missed a podcast yet, and uh, us uh, missing one was, was heartbreaking. But Yeah, I didn't know what to do with my time. <laughs> like when, like Tuesday when we didn't do it, I was like I was like Ricky Bobby at the end of fucking Talladega Nights. I was like, what do I do with my hands? So yeah. I jerked off and went to bed. But anyways. And then la <laughs> last week, I edited the edited the video for YouTube. By the way, I apologize to any of you guys who watch uh, the archives on YouTube. I did a terrible job. And that's the thing. So Wednesdays, sorry. Wednesdays, I edit the podcast, so it's like I didn't know what to fucking do Wednesday. I was like, do I get a hooker and, like, beat her? Like, how much how much would it charge, you know, a hooker to let me beat her afterwards? I didn't know what to do with my time. Jesus Christ, Casey. <laughs> That video was hilarious. Yeah, it was bad. I'm sorry. I, I fucking edited it. It's so bad. It was, was it that bad? Oh, my God. The, the, le the sound levels were terrible. Oh, we sounded like shit. You're editing again this week, by the way. That computer works for editing. Oh, God. You're fucking putting that shit on a thumb drive, sticking it on that computer, and editing you it. You should have seen. <laughs> Dude, like, I'm, I'm not looking forward to editing on this computer because... It's slow as fuck. Because it looks like the afterbirth of a suicide bomber like it's just it's a it's a <laughs> dell optiplex it's a little old i'm sorry and that reminds what me i had does every when every muslim takes a selfie does is it always a photo bomb oh but anyway, god <laughs> but anyways the one you put on twitter oh the one of casey with his with his dick while wagging around what <laughs> what are you guys talking about it wasn't you you remember that picture we posted up of uh the sorry we couldn't Bring you your podcast, so here's this video you deserve. Oh, that guy with the penis flicking it around. Oh, my God, oh, that was okay. hilarious. Okay. All I right. saw that, and it was like, yep, got to share that to the I was going to say, because, it. like, I watched the video you edited, and it wasn't that bad. Like, I, I was... Two times been ran like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no holler back, Dude, there. you're a fucking asshole. I love that song. <laughs> I, I and and by the way, Gwen Stefani still looks fucking good. For oh her my age. god, yes! Isn't she like halfway to fifty or something? <laughs> like I don't know how old she is. You know, you know what though? She's almost got like a kind of an oddly hot sort of look to her. I would still drink her bath water. I oh, don't give yeah. a fuck, dude. She's, I would, she's oh. sexy as hell, but she has like almost sort of a strange look to her. Really? I I don't know. That's what other people have said. I thought. Is it just foxy. her face or her body? Or? I guess it's her face. I, I don't, don't know. know. Other people have said it. I think she's just plain foxy. Yeah. You I'm know what? There's a lot of oddly hot people out there. I just seen uh, – I can't remember her fucking name, but I watched this movie uh, the other day, and this girl played a 17-year-old, which was awesome because it went to my role play. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, it was Good called Edge of 17, and I think her name's like Haley something. And they made her in the movie look ugly on purpose. But, like, I, I Googled – of course I did because I'm a fucking pervert. Uh, I googled real pictures of her, and she is fucking smoking, man. <laughs> like, I gotta. It's Haley well, something, dude. It's like when when uh, Charlize Theron was in in Monster. You know, you take a hot ass actress and make her look bad. Oh they yeah. They do. They never. They never do. They never actually take somebody who's legitimately ugly. Oh, I forgot about. Yeah, it was about the first um, first serial killer. Uh, one of the first woman serial killers, wasn't it? Well, it was called Monster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. don't know that she was one of the first. Um. I'll tell you what, though. There's a lot of oddly hot chicks out here. You know who I always thought was hot? Who? What was the chick who was in, uh, oh, what's her name? Gina Davis, the chick who was in uh, Beetlejuice. She she has an odd look to her, but she's hot. Which, was that the mom? Yeah, uh, Gina Davis was uh, was was the Maitland chick. Well, the, the mom, though. Was it the mom, the red hair? Kevin's mom from No, 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 no. <laughs> no, she was one of the dead people. She was the know. female dead one, who Alec Baldwin's wife. I don't remember. I don't oh, know. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that fucking movie in years. That's her name. Haley Steinfeld. Holy Jewish. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I didn't it's know. not Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't know she was that fucking Jewish. Holy shit, man. <laughs> but you yeah, know she... who else has an oddly hot look to her? Who? Cindy Lauper. I like she's weird looking, but I'd do her. She's like 80 now, isn't she? I don't know. I'd still... I'd I, still I don't know if there. people on the... 
Eh, probably not. Podcasts can see that, but that's the girl from the movie I was watching, Haley Steinfeld, or Haley, I'll do your taxes. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I don't know what's with the racial comments today, but I'm loving them. <laughs> yeah, check her out. Haley Steinfeld, I think she's hot. I would put a straw in her she's ass a, and suck the fucking shit out of her prostate she's or whatever a jap. she had. <laughs> prostate? Why did I say prostate? She's a Jap. <laughs> Jewish American princess says Metal Militia, the guy with the uh, Phil and Selmo. She's Jewish icon. and Japanese? Holy No, 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 no. Jewish American princess, J-A-P. Oh, they, they have an abbreviation, <laughs> abbreviation for that? <laughs> well, evidently. Pat Benatar. Yeah, Pat Benatar's got a weird look to her. I'd still do her. Pat Benatar. Oh, the bitch that sings fucking what's it called? The second the second video ever played on MTV. I know that for yeah, some the love reason. Is a battlefield and shit. You know, she she's got a very strange looking face, but mm, I do it. Actually, I have a I have a question that make, that brings up a cool, cool, ugh, good question. If you had uh, the chance to have sex with a celebrity, who would it be? Anybody? They can be dead. Oh God, they can be dead. So it could be I'd, Cleopatra if you wanted to. I don't know. There's too many, man. <laughs> there's too many. There's too many. There's a lot. Cher, ew. Well, no, there's nothing wrong with Cher. I think Cher's fucking butt. Oh, my God. Like, Dolly fucking, Parton. We, we could turn back time video. <laughs> what, Dolly she was in that Parton. fucking fishnet and leather? Come okay, on, Okay, I man. did jerk off a couple times. <laughs> Not yeah, going to lie. Everybody. I'd bang Leah for But you too. know why I jerked off that yeah. video? Because uh, there was a battleship in it. <laughs> if I could turn back time, da, 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 da. <laughs> if I could find a way, she sings like a man. But damn, I you know. Oh man, see, and that's just why. Like when Sony, Son, Sony, <laughs> <laughs> when Sony? Sony, Sony Bono died, you know, I would have done a music video like and a skiing trip. <laughs> oh my god, you're heartless. You're a heartless bastard. I am heartless. I don't give a fuck. I believe they split amicably. I know that's. A foreign concept to you. So you, you can't think of one off the top of your head who who you would say. Oh, my with. God. There's just, like, I don't know, man. There's lots. Why would be Jennifer Lawrence? <laughs> well. I would. Whoo. Uh, after you're done with her. Jay like, Law. <laughs> when you're done with someone like Jennifer Lawrence, you, like, you lick your fingers after you just. It's it's like you just got done eating barbecue ribs. <laughs> like, <laughs> when you're done with Jennifer Lawrence, you. Mm, <laughs> and then you get the wet naps out, and then you go home and cry for about five minutes. <laughs> J Lo, I never found her attractive. Um, I think actually the, the funny thing about J Lo is, is I've seen some pictures of her recently. I think she's getting more attractive the older she's getting for some reason, and I don't know why. I don't know if she's getting sluttier looking when she's you know in her older age or what. But I I just seen um, because I follow this thing on uh. Facebook. It's pretty popular, actually. I don't know if you people are, but it's called Barstool Sports. And it's not just about sports. They cover all sorts of things. And they were covering about how hot J-Lo is and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, I'd never really recognized her before, but oh, she's all right. Fuck Ch it. Chelsea there says, I picked Cherry Moon Zombie. I'd go gay for her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, she is pretty sexy, I gotta say. Wait, Cherry Moon Zombie. Oh, okay, okay. Duh. I close <laughs> the portal tomorrow. Make sure you report to us and let us know how it goes. I closed the phone. <laughs> Mandy 007Q joined. Hello, Mandy 007Q. <laughs> that sounds like a bot. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bond thing. I said bot. I like, know. Uh, I'm like, saying bond. Beep boop, beep boop. No. 007Q. That reminds me, man. The oh second Kingsman's coming out. <laughs> I, I didn't can't see fucking... the first one. You haven't? No. Oh, you got to watch it, man. Anyone that's seen the Kingsman knows about the church scene in that fucking movie. It is one of the greatest scenes I've ever fucking seen in my life. Yeah, oh, yeah. It is so violent, and disturbing. Like I was like very, very impressed. It was amazing. But um, actually, I did want to cover something here. What are yeah, you doing? Yeah, what's that? Oh, you seen if it's a bot? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Could, um, it could be my wife. Who knows? Her name's Amanda. Speaking of sex, uh, oh, oh Jesus, this what? fucking malt liquor, man. Malt liquor. <laughs> Say like it's some Colt 45. <coughs> just, Jesus Christ, Casey. Do you, ha <laughs> you have any more the anal sex at the end? <laughs> yeah. um, do you have any more bodily functions you need to expel before we move along? Uh, no, but I thought I was having a stroke, but it's just a fly. <laughs> a bug. There was a bug flying around right here, and I was, like, getting these glares out of my glasses and out of the computer screen here, and I thought I was having a stroke. But Don't I'm say bug. I'm starting to get. <laughs> I'm starting to get like flashbacks, <laughs> computer um, bugs. So Playboy uh, came out with this article, and it's called "The Unspoken Rules of Sex." Okay. And I thought it would be interesting to cover. Well, if you write about it, it's not really unspoken anymore, is it? Eh, I guess it's it's sort of like the 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to compare it to. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, they have 18 here, and it's just, you know, basically, when you're having sex, these are sort of like the, you know, black market of, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to read these off, and hopefully we'll come up with some pretty good discussion. Okay. Uh, number one, 50% of the time, a woman saying, don't stop, I'm about to come, will make you come and ruin her orgasm. It's a cruel glitch that hasn't been patched. Um, <laughs> I agreed. totally agreed. agree. Agreed. I totally agree. Basically, talking to me at all or putting your hands on me <laughs> can very well cause problems. <laughs> talking to I mean, even you. Looking at, even at looking at me in the right kind of way. Talking to you at all. <laughs> oh, baby, conversate me. Conversate <laughs> me. <laughs> Ba- basically, anything you do that breaks up my flow could result in an overflow. <laughs> we could blue screen. Blue screen of death. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, uh, I have to totally, completely agree with that. If if you want a guy to, like, wait, just say wait, maybe. Don't say I'm about to come, because that turns us on, like, because <laughs> yeah, cause a woman's vagina is... Um, Nature's a Rubik's Cube. It's hard to figure out. A Rubik's Cube? <laughs> yeah. Rubik's Cube. Sorry. Uh, you know, I need to do some aerobics. <laughs> uh, so when when you're telling us that we're about to get you off, that boosts our pride and ego like you won't <laughs> believe. <laughs> we did it. We succeeded. We went the whole whole yeah. 12 rounds. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like Unlike I, Conor McGregor. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Oh, yeah, either fuck. But anyways, like, <laughs> like I'll use an example. I've had I've had two squirters in my life, okay, and you know there's this thing that's saying it's piss, whatever. I whatever. I don't care if a girl pisses on me. It's whatever. But you know it, it was funny because the first time it ever happened, the the girl said, "Stop! I'm gonna ruin your couch." <laughs> okay, so in my mind, I'm like, "Is she gonna shit?" I'm like, "No, she can't." I'm like, "Holy fuck, she's gonna squirt." So do you think I stopped? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Fuck no, dude. I was that's like, what Febreze has been made yeah. for. I was like, my dick was Chris Brown. Her pussy was Rihanna. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I was going to town on that thing. You know what I mean? And she fucking just juiced all over my fu- – dude, it smelled like a bakery in there that was cooking <laughs> like onion bagels. It was horrible. All right? Dude, so- <laughs> you might want to tell your lady friend to watch up first. <laughs> Oh, she doesn't watch this show. <laughs> but and, and so, and about a month later, it happened again, and she said the same exact thing. She said, "Don't stop." So I knew what was going on. I'm like, "Oh yeah," I so I didn't even hesitate. I kept going, and, and then she squirted and stuff like that. So, so if you want a guy to wait for you, uh, so you know he doesn't blow his his tax money inside your you know deficit or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Put a deposit in your sausage wallet. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't say anything. Just say wait. Don't be, don't don't be sexy about Dude, it. Dude, <laughs> even saying that could be a problem. Yeah, Jay's like, don't just don't just don't say anything to me. <laughs> Chelsea says Stanley Steamer's just a call away. <laughs> yeah, it it was bad, dude. Like I I've never bought so much Febreze in my life. Like I was like I was like taking whole like fresh lemons and squirting it on my cat. Oh my god, <laughs> just to get rid of the fucking smell, dude. It was bad. <laughs> number two uh this one's very simple number two is wash your genitals <laughs> wash your gen- absolutely you know what i'm gonna add to that uh if you if you're a guy on the club scene hitting hitting the ladies uh i have been told it is it is proper etiquette to provide a uh box of baby wipes there and she's gonna use them <laughs> Because that's just the way it rolls. Yeah, it's a common courtesy to give that woman the opportunity to wash her shit before you munch on it like a fucking, <laughs> fucking ham. Yeah, sandwich. exactly. And it's like when, especially when you take a shit. If you know you're gonna get your shit sucked, you know, or licked, like whatever. Okay, and you just take a shit, wet nap that shit. <laughs> not a, you, you do realize not everybody shits fourteen times a day. Like I do, do though. So <laughs> because when you're going down on someone. You don't want to smell the ten-piece chicken nugget they had hours before that. You know what I mean? And even better, if you're a dude, you know, pull back that foreskin if you got one. Why, <laughs> dab a little, dab a little. You don't want dab. that. <laughs> you don't want that smegma. That smegma. That's smegma. That's the name for it. Dick there. cheese is called smegma. Where did you learn that at? 
Uh, it's in Mad Max 2, <laughs> Beyond Thunderdome. That doesn't surprise he me re- at all. He refers to his his uh, biker gang as smegma junkies or something along <laughs> oh those lines. God, and, of course, me being the Mad Max junkie that I am, mm. I uh, I had to look up what that particular phrase meant, and I was disappointed to learn that uh, that entire biker gang was uh, queer. <laughs> Not just the guy who wore feathers on his head with the red hair. <laughs> How are those teeth, Casey? Uh, Trevor, I'm getting him out next week. Uh, I have to get three taken out. I'm getting two taken out next week, and then two weeks or three weeks after that, I'm getting another one taken out, which sucks because both times are on a Tuesday. So I got to get my teeth pulled out, and I got to do the show later. <laughs> oh, my! I'm going to mess with you so hard. Hey, what if you yeah. have been to Jubilee Hospital British? Like, I'm going to sound like an old retired boxer with Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get right onto this. Number three. Uh, number three is don't lie about being on the pill. Yes. I, I can... Do people do that? Oh, my God, yeah. Women are fucking evil. <laughs> They're serpents. <laughs> Apparently, I've met a better class of woman than you have. Uh, your your one girlfriend pulled a gun out on your other friend, so I don't he, know about not that. Not to say he didn't deserve it. He deserved it. Yeah, he probably did. You know Joe. He deserved it. <laughs> Go, Joe. Yeah, if if you're a woman and you're lying about being on the pill, don't do that. That's god-awful. That is god-awful. Like, just, I don't know. It's just weird. That's wrong. That's like, that's almost as bad as saying you have AIDS and you don't tell the person. And they raw dog you. <laughs> like... It's just, it's not a good thing to go down, especially when women get most of the, you know, kids. 18 years of child support sucks. I've never had it, but it sounds (laughs) god-awful. Not to mention the whole bringing a life into the world that you may or may not be interested in, you know, providing a fatherhood for. I'm never having kids because of that that fact. Life sucks. Life is garbage. (laughs) You have such a positive outlook in life. Dude, you are a beacon of positivity. We should all strive. To we be should. As, as, we as should. positive as you are. I'm not the only one out there that thinks life sucks. I just I'm the only one that admits it. God damn it, life is shit. There is no way I would bring a kid. I to like this my world. life. That's that's because you're lying. Um, I'm not. Why don't lying. you lie about being on the pill, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. <coughs> bring a fucking kid in this world, okay? He goes through school, probably gets bullied because you won't buy him a phone because you don't want him to be a spoiled little bitch. So they probably all fucking make fun of him for not want for not I having a phone. That. Exactly, I'm ranting. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so then they go to college, and then they're like five hundred thousand dollars in debt. College for a degree they don't want because your kid probably wanted to go for I don't know pipe cleaning or fucking pipe cleaner or or some bullshit like that. And then I have to work my ass off the rest of my life just. To make enough money, so when I die, my kid doesn't get stuck with his fu- with my funeral. And then even when I do die, all my fucking relatives that never talked to me or never liked me in the first place are gonna come around and bother him for money. That's no life for someone. <laughs> it's no life for someone. Let's get right on with it. <laughs> do you understand that? That is my. I don't like them putting chemicals <laughs> in the water that turn the friggin' frogs. That is gay. my positive pet talk pep talk for the day. You're welcome. You are. Yeah, I mean, you are. A- we should all strive to be <laughs> as positive as you are. It's not my fault. You should be a motivational speaker. I'm I thinking. should be. I should I'm be. I'm thinking so. But I have been told, actually, when I, when I get on a serious note, I've actually helped people more than their psychiatrist. <laughs> Believe it or not. And, and just the other day, I was saying, I think you need to get therapy. <laughs> Go figure. No, no. I am my own therapy. You're so well adjusted, all right? Uh, you know. I am. <laughs> well, why don't we let the chat decide? Do we feel like Casey uh, needs therapy, or is he well adjusted? No, I'm I'm a I'm a very well rounded <laughs> individual. <laughs> I have I have lots of class. I have lots of charisma. <laughs> lots of class. Oh man! <laughs> Look at our fucking studio. Everybody accuses us of being in a basement. Oh, uh, I better poop later because I'm full of shit. Uh, let's see here. Um, number four. We're on number four here. Uh, for anyone just joining us, we uh, we're talking about Playboy just released uh, 18 rules of unspoken rules of sex. Um, and we're at number four here. Number four is the difference between fetish and felony is checking beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, all right. Uh, I got nothing to add to that. Yeah, that's that's yeah. true. That's why they're safe words. Um, and uh, it depends on how much the girl likes you. 
like uh, there's always that there was that joke going around when Fifty Shades of Grey was getting popular. Uh, they were saying if the guy in the books wasn't rich, women wouldn't, wouldn't have been as turned on about it. <laughs> yeah, then it would have just been would have just been a you know. Yeah, rape. I I, th- I think <laughs> the joke was if you know if he wasn't rich and lived in a trailer park, uh, it would have been Criminal Minds instead of called uh, <laughs> fucking uh, what's it, whatever it's called Fifty Shades of Gay or whatever. Uh, number yeah, five. if the dude wasn't rich, it definitely would have been uh, Fifty Shades of Prison. <laughs> exactly. But sex. <laughs> All right. Uh, number five here. Uh, I've never used anal beads, so I don't know if this really pertains to me. It might pertain to you. I don't know how much of a freak you Pertain? Or... Huh? Pertain? Be- beads. Anal beads. No, you said... Pertain. Oh, I thought you said pretend. No. <laughs> like, what would we pretend in here? Pertain um, to use these. I don't know how much of a freak your wife is. Uh, number five, if you're using anal beads, do not pull them out and say, and the winning Powerball numbers are. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, my God. My wife's in the chat roasting me. Hey, Jay, forgot my other password already. Yes, it's your wife in case it's true. All I have to do is talk to him, and it's over. Oh, it's so true. <laughs> See? Like, all you got to do is talk to me. It's over. Jesus Christ, Amanda. <laughs> She's got bigger boobs than you, you know? Yeah, she does. And then, oh, I can't say it will ruin the surprise. No, you can't. <laughs> you, know, you can't. Jesus. Become a patron. Seriously, <laughs> we will check right before we start the patron-only show. And if you get in beforehand, we'll invite you into it. It's good. It's oh. going to be good. You're going to love it. You guys are going to want to watch. Oh. Harley DeBlondie, thanks for joining. Rack 2, thanks for joining. Rack two. LLRCW, <laughs> thanks for joining. Rack 2. All right, onward. Okay, um... Actually, if I ever do anal beads with a girl, I'm I'm fucking uh, saying that. <laughs> that is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life. That is funny. All right, number six. As a guy, it's an unspoken law to alert your partner before you come. Um, is it? Uh, yeah. See, I don't really agree with that. I think it's funny <laughs> <laughs> when, um. When you blow a load in a girl's mouth and they're not expecting it, it is pure comic gold. <laughs> when when they get, you know, that couple ounces of New England clam chowder when they don't eat seafood, it's just the most amazing thing in the world. <laughs> uh, yeah, gross. <laughs> gross. My wife says, you're welcome, guys. Jay, call me quick after the show. Yeah, she wants to make sure that I've got all the all the files. <laughs> Oh, For our game we're really? gonna be playing that you want to be a part of. Really? Is that what it's gonna be? She says talking to you makes you come. You're gonna call and she's gonna be like, oh. "Hello," and you're gonna, be like, "Oh, Jesus!" Oh. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's gonna look like you spilled clam chowder on your. I pants. can't believe she started watching our show now. I'm so proud of her. I know she changed her name though. I'm like, was it a? Co- she forgot her password. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because she, she used to just be called Jay's wife. <laughs> I thought that was creative, sort of. Somehow, I you know, and I, I there's a Bond reference there, and I know she doesn't know it. <laughs> she doesn't watch Bond. Double O Seven Q. Oh, Q man, was the yeah. guy who made the gadgets for Double O Seven. Mm. Uh, oh, Joe Joe Sanct Joe Sanct joined. Hey, thanks for joining. Glad that fucking beer's gone. Oh, tastes like dick. Um, I thought <laughs> I know what that tastes like. Um, <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, number six, yeah. Uh, as a guy, it's an unspoken law to alert your partner before you come. I don't think that's I, – I know a lot of women that actually don't care. Um, I think I've been with, like, two that cared, really. And they usually tell you. They're like, just let me know before you come or whatever like that. It's like, no, bitch. <laughs> you getting it all. Um, number seven, I don't understand this at all. This must be a woman thing. So any women in the chat is going to have to explain this. Number seven is don't blow into the vagina. Um, Who would do that? I think women what liked is it. it. A hat? I've done that, and women liked it. What? Yeah. Why? What would possess you to think? Because that it gives them idea? chills. Like, what, say you lick your lick your arm right now and blow on it. It gives you the chills. Imagine blowing on a fucking you know panty hamster that just fell into the sewer. Like, I was thinking like you're like you know grabbing it between your lips like a balloon and <laughs> <laughs> trying to blow her up, or trying to like make it whistle like you do with the piece of grass. <laughs> If so, if someone could take a vagina, a vagina lips, and make them whistle, I would pay you a hundred dollars that I don't have. Steel Man <laughs> MW, awesome! I get to see your show again. Better than twisting my nipples. What you want to bet? That's probably Ron. Is it? I don't know. It could be. It's got a Steelers helmet. Oh, actually, I thought that. No, I don't know. It might be. I don't know if that was Ron. I don't it, know what the MW. He was here last week, though. I remember you, Steelers. 
Yeah, I remember you from Eel last man. week. Um, yeah, so let's get on with that. I don't know. Uh, women, you're going to have to explain that because we obviously don't have vaginas and we don't have the money for the surgery. So is it weird when a guy blows in your vagina? Like, or it doesn't mean come. Yeah, it's Ron. Is it Ron? Yeah, it's Ron. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, Ron? <laughs> How's it going, man? We should have known. Um, I action. did, actually. What? I did know. Oh, you did? Yeah, see? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, number seven, I guess, I don't know, that might mean come. I don't know. Number seven says don't blow in the vagina. I thought it meant, you know, when you're eating a girl out and you, like, you blow on it or something. I don't know. But oh. maybe it says, maybe it means come, which oh, is a very Michael. good idea. Don't blow in the cum. Or don't blow in the vagina. Michael, what... Michael W. Fuck. I don't know. Now I'm confused. Oh, maybe it's not Ron. All right. Well, maybe it's Ron's up. brother. What's Ron's brother's last name? Uh, His last name is... It starts with an H. Oh, okay. All right, number eight. This is sort of long here. Um, if you fart while receiving a blowjob, they keep going like nothing happened. You were required to buy your partner something shiny and valuable. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, asshole. My wife's in the chat. I got that kind of scratch. So you farted in your wife's face before. Interesting. Well, you know, when you go and it's, <laughs> it's relaxing, you know. I know. Things Blow, let loose. Blowjobs are awesome. Like, ladies out there, if you don't suck dick, you better learn. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want a man wrapped around your finger, you suck his dick. You suck that motherfucker like you're going to die if you like don't. You're, like you're trying to take the pain off of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, just suck that motherfucker. Because blowjobs are the best thing in the world. I, I, <laughs> I actually like them better than sex. I'm not the only one out there. I've talked to other guys that like it. Uh, better than sex. Uh, there's a lot of guys that like sex better than blowjobs, but blowjobs are just so amazing. They're the I best. I like thing. them both. Ugh, I do too, but blowjobs are more like when you want to relax. Sex to me is more like I had a shit day at work. Some bitch, I'm taking my anger out on. <laughs> well, you know, if you got if you got a generous woman, sometimes they'll crawl up on top too and uh, take some of the load off. Yeah, you. see, I don't like women on top. It's boring. It is boring. I like to be in control. What? Yeah, I don't like women on top. You have a you have a you have a control issue. I do. You? That's it's because sex is like controlling for me. That's why I like sex. It's like, you know, oh, I have the power. <laughs> like <even>. you're a <laughs> sociopath, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> you're this close to being Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh maybe I am. You are. A maybe sociopath. I am. They just you, haven't caught me. You know yet. what? You know I'm what? I'm not the only one that thinks that way. Uh, maybe I'm the, like, I don't know. You know what? When Cricket said it a few weeks ago, she was right. You're Dexter. You just haven't made your first kill yet. <laughs> Who knows? Dexter didn't get caught for seven seasons. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. Any guys out there, you know, have my back here. Like, say you have a stressful day at work. Isn't it good just beating up a hole? Like, isn't it? Like, you get in this, like, caveman mode. You take your stress and anger out in a girl's pussy. It feels great, man. It gets your it gets your anxiety out. It gets your depression out. It gets your anger man, out. Don't, don't you ever slow things down a little bit and get it? No, I'm like fucking. No, nope, nope. <laughs> oh man, you gotta get that Showtime. Nope, that the, Showtime softcore and porn I, going on. You know, the first thing I say is my fake name, so they can't find me on Facebook, and we're gone. <laughs> or you can take my approach, just to, you know, no get, Facebook. Get married? I ain't getting married. I was talking about no Facebook, but oh, yeah. okay. I like Facebook though. Helps I, me jerk off. I like <laughs> I like being married. You do? I do. I Fuck, love being I, married. Uh, it's so weird. I don't no, know. No, some of us just are capable of finding. I don't think. I don't life. think I'm capable of marriage. I don't think you're capable of pleasantries. I I'm very pleasant. No. I've been in plenty of relationships. I just want to beat up a hole. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, real pleasant. I do. I'm not the only one that thinks that way. Whatever. Men men <laughs> get their stress out by fucking. And women probably do too. I don't know. I don't have a vagina. Uh, maybe someday I'll have enough money to get the surgery. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the L'Oreal? Uh, oh, my God. Jay beat mine. Uh, <laughs> did you hear about the L'Oreal uh, transgender model who said all white people were racist? They fucking shit candor. Good. Whoa! Yeah. Someone yeah. stuck up for once. Well, they should. That's I a know. fucking stupid ass I thing know. to shit, say. Shit's get a little out of hand with the racism. That's a stupid shit. thing to say. Uh, I know. Um, there's a there's there's a couple girls right now that are getting paid to go around and make speeches on that stuff, and I don't know how, but whatever. <laughs> uh, that that's just about as good as when the leader of the Black Lives Matter uh, woman came out and said. Um, white people, if you're rich, you should give your home to more poor black people. 
I'm like, okay, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, the whole the whole thing is charity is, is a good thing, but don't be nuts. I know, and, and that's the like, thing. Don't expect people to just fucking kiss your ass. When you, when you cry wolf, you cry wolf, you cry wolf. You're gonna get extremely ridiculous, and people aren't gonna deal with it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like like I said before. You know, we're we're all about you know help help people who need it and all, but don't don't expect that you're gonna be able to get more than everybody else. Yeah, because I know. some ancestor back in the day. Actually, my my wife always said it best. She she's Irish. Yeah, and uh, she's like, you know, they're all kind of you know screaming for reparations and shit. These idiot people, you know, who don't have a fucking clue. She's like, you know, I was Irish. They treated us as bad, if yeah. not worse. Well, that's the thing I say about Jewish people. Look what the Jews went through. Six oh million God, people yeah. killed in four years. Like you don't see them asking for shit. You know why? Because they own everything right yeah, now. Yeah, they just bought everything. I just you know? I I see it weird. I don't know. I would I would. <laughs> I, ancestors are not family or not. I would never take someone else's suffering and try to use it my advantage. I think yeah, it's my God, it's like you know. I think it's very pathetic. I, I'm all I'm all for helping those who are less fortunate, you know, because you can't pull yourself up by the bootstraps if you don't have boots. Mm-hmm. I get that, but you know, on the other hand, though, don't don't be asking for fucking shit that happened hundreds of years ago. And trust me, uh, you know, my family had nothing to do with it, and neither did most of the other people who are still here. Yeah. I know, and that's like my, my my favorite thing is I don't even know how we started talking about this. But my favorite thing is wow. white. When I hear white privilege, uh, fuck off. Okay, you know, I I didn't have a good fucking raising up. My dad, I never knew him. Okay, you know, it, it didn't happen because of the color of my skin. It happened because my dad was a piece of shit. Okay, so I don't want to hear about all this white privilege bullshit. <laughs> like I didn't have a father, you know, so that obviously affected things because we didn't have enough money and all this fucking bullshit. So I don't want to hear it. Fuck y'all. <laughs> hey, on a uh, on a completely unrelated note, I just saw myself reaching out to the camera like a like a fucking waterhead. There was a bug there I was trying to catch. Right? Oh, I, I thought you. Were, yeah, I, I thought you were doing the Backstreet Boys like early '90s like reach out of the camera like I love you like. Uh, girl, <laughs> baby, we need like a half painted on mustache or whatever. So, uh, <coughs> so I think we're we're heading towards time here. Oh no, we we still got a little bit. We started like eight fifty three ish. Oh, did we? Yeah, so we yeah, got we little... started fucking late as shit. So uh, so let me yeah, uh, hello hello to you too. Uh, we got to run through these. Um, okay, yeah, we'll we'll go quick here. Number nine. Th- this is actually really really good. Uh, number nine is take a pee after you have sex. It will help prevent infections. Is that for men too? I know that was good for women, but is that for men too? I don't know, man. Every time I try to piss after sex, it like shoots off in two different I know. directions. It's, it's like, like that you're scene. simultaneously pi- simultaneously pissing in the <laughs> sink and on the shower curtain. Yeah, it's like that scene from fucking uh, me, myself, and Irene when he's oh, trying yeah. to pee, and it's like he's using the picture frame to block the piss. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. It's like you piss out to the fucking shower curtain in the sink. Um, yeah, actually, if we're running out of time, you know what? I'll save the rest for next week. How 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 about that? Yeah, why don't we do you that? You want to do that? Let's do that because uh, we need to regroup here and get ready for our patron-only show. Yeah, that's true. You I guys got about 15, 20 minutes to sign up if you want to get in on I, it. I forgot we had to do that. So we ended on number nine. So, yeah, we'll we'll do 10 through 18 next week. That was pretty fun. We'll, yeah, we'll that is it. fun. We, we talked too damn much this week. Yeah, we did. I but, like it, though. I like it. It's fun, though. <laughs> okay, guys, if you're in the chat right now, if you sign up in the next uh, few minutes here for patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions, uh, you can join us for our after party for this month. Uh, we are doing something super fun and super great, and it's going to cost you as little as a dollar an episode. Dude, it's like four bucks a month. It's literally a cup of coffee. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You pay you pay more than that for a uh, fucking double venti mocha choca bullshit. You know? <laughs> Just go ahead and uh, join up for it and help us buy a new computer so we can fucking stop about with this shit. How about pussy? How about titties? Titties. Okay. <laughs> yes, Amanda, what would you like? <laughs> oh, you're supposed to call her. Yes, I am. You're supposed to call her. I'm like your secretary. <laughs> I, got, I, I have a bladder the size of an acorn, so I'm pissing over. her. All right, hey, everybody. We'll see you all next week. And for those of you who are going to join us on the uh, Patreon-only show, log into patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. We'll post uh, whatever we're doing there. Yeah, all thank right. you, everyone. Have a good week. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. (laughs) We are available on YouTube. 
Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ha, ha, ha.